All right. All right, so we got an update. Uh, marathon is tomorrow. I have been trying to figure out if I will be doing this uh, barefoot or not. This morning I went on a run. <sighs> what happened? Went on a mile run barefoot. In 50... 57 degree weather? It was really warm air though. I feel like it was... Like that didn't feel like it was 57. I thought it worked this hot. Maybe something changed. Maybe... Oh wow, it's changing. Hmm, okay. I don't know, that didn't feel like it was 55. That was really interesting. But then again... Yeah, I don't... Um, that was really weird. It's hard for me to gauge. Like, I went outside and I remember putting my feet onto the... onto the concrete and... Before that, I was feeling the wind, and the wind didn't feel like it was 57. Because it was strong wind, and usually at 57, I'm not... Hmm. I was wearing a jacket. I was wearing the, the thick, long sleeve shirt. Oh wow, this looks exactly... Looks exactly like... 2020... 2020... Focus, where are you? Yeah, it looks exactly like uh, 2020, huh, or 2021. I don't remember, but I'm glad they, no other, no other, no other printings on the back. Yeah, I like this one. Not too bad, it's a good class. Awesome. That's my new water glass. Yeah, I, I'm still up in the air about what, at least finalizing it. I guess I won't be finalizing it until tomorrow. So, because this morning wasn't cold enough. It wasn't cold enough for me to figure out if... Okay, wait, wait, maybe, maybe... Because it's 50, 57, say it was 58. So, it's, um... Tomorrow morning, it's forecasted to be about 50 when I get there. 50 at the start. 50 at the start. 50 at the start, and then when you end, about 70. So, we're talking about a 20 degree difference. Most of it is going to be within the range of 60, which is kind of what you felt. Now, is that tolerable? It's tolerable for 10 minutes. Um, but we're talking about like four to six hours tolerable. <laughs> it wasn't too cold. I feel like the ground has changed. It's like the ground is already warm. Yeah, because it doesn't feel like winter. That's what's throwing you off. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like winter, like winter ground. Winter ground was cold. So that's why it's throwing you off. So, if it was like it was yesterday, or this morning, might have a chance. You might have a chance. <laughs> you might have a chance. I mean, uh, most of what I'm feeling is a good 60, 70% 70, 70 of what I'm feeling is fuck it. We're just gonna go in there and. Like, I haven't seen you giving up yet. So. We're going to find out where your limits are. <sighs> if 
I were to give up. I was looking at the course. The course goes 13 miles. It's like, okay, so if there's a chance to give up, it would be halfway through it. It would be, be about like 12, 13 miles. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not trying to set myself up, up to uh, like give myself a lot of leeway. I'm just pre-planning. So halfway through it, if you're going to be giving up, it's probably going to be around there. That's possible. Just take your time. Sun comes up when? When does the sun come up? Six forty-five. You're shitting me. The sun comes up exactly when we start. So you're gonna start feeling the sun within an hour, or after an hour. After yeah, after an hour or so. Definitely within two hours, you're going to start feeling the sun. You're going to feel warmer. Okay. And after you start feeling the sun, it's going to start warming up the ground. And then it'll be okay. If you can tolerate first hour, Two hours. I'll start feeling a lot better. This might be possible. Wind looks like it's. Yeah, the wind's not even. Wind's barely even gonna be there, so you're definitely gonna feel the sun. Gonna be something. This is gonna be something. Mm, spam. We got div number. It's not in focus. Where's focus? Right here. Where's focus? Right there. Boom. Missed it. Where are you? I can't see. I can't. I can't see it. There you are. Focus right there. Boom. My face right there. Perfect. Perfect. Got some exposure. There we go. Future is looking brighter. <laughs> Three fifty-five. Comes out to thirteen. Comes out to four. Where's a good even number? Good even number. Split down the middle. I have been going haywire on. Is that the right word? Is that the right word? Let's just make sure. Haywire? Okay. Yeah, hi, haywire. Eh, I don't know if it's haywire. It's more controlled than that. A little bit. I'm getting a bunch of lenses. Betting. Getting a bunch of lenses. I've been getting a bunch of telephotos. I'm not really a telephoto person. <laughs> but these telephotos are really interesting. 
Oh, these telephotos are really interesting. I know I'm going to be getting rid of... Uh, well, I'm not getting... I'd say I'm getting rid of... We have some 135s. This one... This one... This 90 mil? 90 millimeter? It's a 90... Oh, I need to open the cap to see it. 90 mil. Is this the one? Oh, this macro telephoto. So this guy, this guy. Can we see it? This guy is ridiculous. Watch this thing get a boner. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yes, I have a lot of practice doing this. <laughs> That's freaking ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Macro telephoto. This guy, this guy's really fun to play with. <laughs> Dude, this one's the most surprising lens. That, this, this lens is a, a beast. What is it? A 90 mil 2.5? 2.5, pretty good. I have two 135s and I got this 80, 80 to 200 zoom. This guy's really awesome. Yeah, this guy's really smooth. This is a smooth one, very smooth. There's nothing like focusing manually. Focusing manually really lets you be in the moment. I still don't have an automatic one. I don't have an auto autofocus just yet. I don't know if I'll get, I mean, I have my eyes on two of them, but I just don't, I'm not too sure about the, uh, I guess I'll end up getting them at some point, just to compare photo quality. Because I have a lot of faith in these manual focus old vintage lenses. These old vintage lenses. Ooh, this one's a macro too! Oh, I still have to, oh my gosh, I have to test that. Wow, right after, I'm gonna try that one. Then, so I have some, I was more a wide angle person. I remember being a wide angle. More wides, more wide. So I have some wide angles coming in. Wider. Two wides. One zoom. One thirty-five mil. And then a fifty mil macro. Definitely want a good macro one. Apparently, you have three of them. <laughs> You'll have three total. I didn't know this one was a macro. I remember looking at the numbers and seeing, where's it, 8200, where are you, 8200, closest distance, 47.2, you're, you're saying this is a macro, we'll see about that, where's that 90 mil, oh, where's that 90 mil close focusing, 90 mil, Macro, close, minimum, focus. Minimum focus is 5.7. Yeah, that other one's definitely a macro. 5.7 inches? 5.7 inches. Wow, that's impressive. That's actually the closest macro. I didn't know that. Well, I'll end up, I'm just going through these and I'll end up reselling them. I just want to play with them. I know I'm definitely not going to be keeping all these lenses, but man, getting the experience of this is pretty... Let me put that in there. What was it? 5.7 inches? Same. Closest. No focus. No focus. 5.7. Boom. Just like that. Centimeters, 14.5. 14.5. Fourteen point five centimeters, two meters. Two meters would be point one five. What the hell? Hmm. Compared to your fifty. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Wow. That's impressive. Hmm. 
Well, I'm ready for tomorrow. Um, just need to get. Well, I haven't been on top, completely top of nutrition, but I haven't fell over. Fallen over. I have. I've eaten Indian food uh, within the past half an hour. Very oily. But hey, if I can do it, oh fucking make it. Don't make it harder on yourself, dude. <laughs> don't make it hard. Okay, let's just make this easier. Okay, so I'm gonna drink a bunch of water. The last thing we want to eat tomorrow would be. What would I want to eat tomorrow? And I do want to go get some pistachio, pistachios, bring like a small bag of pistachios to eat on the course. That would be beneficial for sure. Let's go get some pistachios later. Yeah, that would help. Mm. And then maybe bring uh, yeah, one of those bars, uh, fruit bar. I think you're ready. I think you're ready. Oh, man. I'm feeling so much energy right now. Oh, just relax. Save it for tomorrow. Just save it for tomorrow. It's three o'clock. Plenty of time. I think we're good. Good luck. Good luck. You'll be alright. Even if you quit, you'll be alright. We'll find out if you are a quitter. Haven't quit a race yet. Iron Man. I didn't quit Iron Man. I was just... Yeah, I didn't make the cutoffs. Yeah, I didn't make the cutoffs. I haven't quit anything yet. I haven't given up yet. That's how I know, like, that's how I know I'll probably make it. All right, suffering. Let's do it. <laughs> um, okay, so main points to focus. Fo focus on, okay, so our main points of focus, let go. Let go. Be in the moment. Just let go. Um, pay attention. If it starts hurting, just readjust. Better slow down. Just slow down. No panic. No reason to panic. You have all the time in the world. So I'm going to do a version of walk run. Yeah, we're going to do a walk run. Probably about 10 breaths walking, 30 breaths running. We'll see how that goes. Don't get ahead of yourself. Just pay attention to what you feel. Listen up. Just breathe. Relax. Savor your energy. Not too much excitement. Um, don't spend spend the excitement. Don't spend the excitement. All right, dude. Good luck.